Last time, I learned about safety when you're riding. Today, Gary from Bonnets is going to make sure kite saddle fits in properly. Hi, Gary. Hi, Olivia. How are you going? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. So what are you going to show us today? Uh, we're going to talk about saddle fitting today because it uh, makes the whole horse riding experience a lot safer and a lot more enjoyable for yourself and for your horse. Uh, and if your horse is happier, it makes your horse healthier. When we're looking at uh, saddle fitting, we look at the, uh, the thoracic part of the spine. Now, the thoracic part of the spine starts from the front of the shoulder, yep. all right, and it goes back to this area here. There's a big bone that runs through here, and it's called the scapula, all right? It's a big bone. It's like a thigh bone on yourself, all right? And it runs all the way up through here. So I want you to just put your hand on there, and so you can feel how hard that is. What we've got to remember is this bone is not connected skeletally to the actual backbone. Okay. All right? So okay. if we actually put pressure on it, we actually squeeze the pony, all right? Okay. So they can't move properly. Uh, I really like these saddles. Um, they've got an easy change gallet system, so uh, you can actually adjust them and change them uh, yourself. To just make sure that you're in behind the back of that shoulder. Okay, because remember we spoke about earlier, the shoulder's got to be nice and free. All right, if the saddle's sitting up on the shoulder, it's just like if I put your shoulders in a squeeze, you can't move properly. The next thing we look at is the height criteria from the bottom of the saddle channel to the top of the wither. All right, the actual backbone through here. Ideally, what we need is like a minimum of five to seven centimetres. One of the great features of the Techno saddles is that they're nice and soft and flexible through here as well, so they're not going to restrict any of this movement. If that was too low through yep. there, every time you go riding, you'd be banging on the top of that backbone, and then you're going to have an unhappy horse. Now, when you put your girth on, you just do your back girth point first. When we tighten that, it brings the saddle into the centre of the horse's back. Yep. If we just did the front one first, it tends to pull the saddle down and start restricting the shoulder. Now, when you take your saddle off, yep. it's important that you just slide it back slightly because after you've been riding for a while, it actually forms a seal or a vacuum yep. on your horse's back. So if we just sort of slide it back a little bit, it breaks that seal so that it's just that little bit more comfortable. All right, so we drag that out. So always have a look to make sure there's no scuffing through there. Well, that was great information from Gary. Thankfully, Kite Saddle fits him really well, so I can ride him without worrying about it causing him pain or problems. If you're not sure about your saddle fitting, make sure you contact Bonnets for help. www.bonnets.com.au